In this video I show you a home lab do-it-yourself method to make breeding grounds for bacteria growth in petri dishes. You'll need agar agar and beef bouillon from a local supermarket. It's important that the, that the beef bouillon contains peptone which um, makes the bacteria grow because they, they eat it. Apart from that you need some petri dishes of course. I used pretty big ones and three of them. And a 100 ml Erlmeyer flask, some cotton, aluminium foil, uh, a spoon or something like that and two cups to measure out the ingredients. You need some water and a scale and a Bunsen burner and of course a pressure cooker which you use as an autoclave to sterilize the petri dishes and the Erlenmeyer flask. Furthermore you need a clock to measure out the time. First of all Put 100 milliliters of tap water in your Erlenmeyer flask and then measure out your ingredients. You'll need around 0.8 grams of the beef bouillon in 100 milliliter of water. So, 0.8 grams. Well, I'm around 0 0.8 and then 2 grams of agar agar A good thing is that those beef bouillon instant soup um, has already enough minerals for the and sugar for the bacteria so you don't have to add any sodium chloride or glucose to your solution. So now put your two ingredients in your Erlenmeyer flask. And then shake it, shake it to let it dissolve. If there are those little things which don't dissolve, this is no problem because later on when we are cooking it, they will dissolve automatically. So you can just let it like this and go on with the next step. Now close your own Meyer flask by putting a big cotton ball in it and then put a piece of aluminium foil on it. It doesn't have to be airproof but just close it like this. Put your pressure cooker on the cooking plate and put in around one centimeter of water and use an insert where you can put your Erlenmeyer flask on. Now after you have put your Erlenmeyer flask in the pressure cooker, close it and heat it up for 50 minutes so that pressure can perform. I put the pressure cooker on another cooking plate because there was too much pressure on the bigger one. So now after 15 minutes put the gas off and slowly open your, your pressure cooker.
and put the oil my flask off and wait until the temperature turned down on around 70 degrees so that you can pour it in your petri dishes. During the time you are waiting for your Ohlmeyer flux to cool down, you can sterilize your petri dishes by putting them, them in the same pressure cooker and do the same procedure again for around 10 minutes now. So put the gas on again and wait for around 10 minutes. Work near a Bunsen burner to prevent air contamination on your dishes because there are a lot of bacteria like Micrococcus luteus in the air which can go on your plates when you don't have fire near, it, near your working place. So now take one of the sterilized petri dishes, open your flask and put away this cotton ball and pour it slowly in your petri dishes and then make sure not to open it too much so that no bacteria can enter it. So that's double safety. And now we can pour the solution in the dish and do this with, with all of them when they have hardened you can keep them in your in a cool place for around a week and Look every day if um, they are contaminated. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and comment.